Hi, there is Fimpossible Games and in this video I will show you how to make simple tail model in Blender, export it with settings friendly for tail animator and set up flying tentacle monster with it. I'm not usually modeling in Blender, but I quickly learned something about it to make this tutorial. So let's get started. First let's create simple shape for the tail. Pay attention to axis, because in Unity forward axis is Z axis, but in Blender it seems it's Y. So we will make model which is pointing in Y axis, the green one. It will help export model correctly. Let's extrude it few times so bones have some polygons to bend it smoothly. Scale it a little down every step. Let's add something extra to it. Go to object mode, press shift A, go to armature, single bone and reset its position. We can switch to wireframe by pressing Z, so we can see bone. Press N to show extra window. Click on armature and be in edit mode. Adjust bone direction with Y value and extrude new bones. Now go through each bone and make sure that in transform window row value is zero. It would sometimes make things problematic. Clean up it a little, remove unnecessary objects and finally parent our model with armature so select model, armature, control P, automated weights, and we have it. Let's check if it's working. Enter pose mode. Move it. It's working, so we can export. Select mesh, then armature, and file export FBX. And there are important settings. Set forward as positive Z axis, Y up, I making sure that I export only selected. Experimental apply transform, apply scale FBX all, go to armature, Primary axis will be Z axis and secondary will be negative Y axis. Let's finally hit export. Move model to our project. Put it on scene and check if everything is working. So let's check. Let's check the orientations. Blue axis is forward axis, so let's check the bones, yes, they are pointing in Z-axis. Okay, let's check if skin is working, yes. So let's add tail animator to first bone, no to armature to first bone. And hit play. And there we have it. We can rotate model, move it, tail is following each action. With this setup we can also use other variables to make some different effects. Maybe there a little bit better example on a shark model. We can bend whole thing in a different way and we can make this flying monster from Starcraft from a shark. Or go in another way and make shark pion. And you can see that tail is following object correctly anyway. Now let's focus on creating this tentacle monster. It will be very simple, we just duplicate the tentacles. Now let's adjust it a little so it's a bit longer. Copy settings. Paste it in editor mode. Let's add a head of the monster, it will be just a sphere. Let's parent it. Make sure that it rotates correctly. Here I will do small trick to help me set them. So I create empty object in a sphere, parent tentacle to it and rotate. Duplicate, rotate. Drop tentacles back to the sphere. Now it's set up, so we click play. And it's working. We can move rotate objects. It's dancing. Tentacles are following each step smoothly. And for me it looks cool, but let's extend it a little. You can play with it as you want, and you can, for example, nest other tentacles inside another. Let me show you. We put one small here and let's duplicate it again and put inside this tentacle another smaller one. Scale it and let's hit play. It's working, but we should tweak elasticity a little on these small ones. And yeah, now it looks better. 
you can of course tweak elasticity in real time. Now you can attach some movement AI to it, and you have cool looking monster from what? From just simple roads made in Blender in few minutes and from a one sphere. And that's all. Hoping that this video was helpful for you. And see you next time. Cheers.